Just look at the size of these mangoes. Tonight, Chef Matt is going to prepare some homemade salsa made from the mangoes right from our mango tree. And he's going to put it over some beautiful black grouper from the seafood market. He's going to put a side dish of pasta. This is going to be really yummy. So he started by slicing up the mango that was nice and ripe right off the tree. Right off the tree. Next we're putting some red onion, and then we'll do peppers, garlic, cilantro, some lime, and some salt and pepper. Now why do you choose a red onion? Number one, for the color a little bit, and number two, I think it uh, goes better with more of a Hispanic dish, like a salsa. And now he's cutting up some fresh garlic. Fresh garlic. One for each mango, I'd say. And you could use any peppers. If you wanted it to be spicy, you could use jalapenos. But we're just using some little baby sweet peppers. Squeeze the lime. I like to get it right on the garlic. I feel like it cooks it a little bit. All right. And then these will just do a rough chop after we get the seeds out. Pay attention to what you're doing. Keep your fingers tucked back. Okay, if you get a little bit of the seeds in there. With jalapenos, I would recommend it. Alright. Our cilantro, I remember we washed it the other day. So again, just give this a rough chop. Kosher salt, and preferably fresh ground pepper, but in this case we have a little bit of pre-ground. <clears throat> and then just give it a mix. And the longer it sits, the better it's going to taste. Pretty good. And we'll have it on top of our black grouper tonight. But this is prized for its meat. Mm. Gorgeous fish. There we go. Voila. The fish uh, market person said that the black grouper is an open water fish, so it eats more fish. It's not a bottom feeder. Uh, which just makes it cleaner. For the pasta, real basic. Chopped up garlic, some olive oil, fresh pasta, parmesan. Butter. I always add butter. Instead of just olive oil, I add some butter as well. All right. We want even portions, so both of these are about the same size because this one's a lot thicker. This one's a little bit longer, but it's got that thin piece at the end, so we're going to go about halfway down ish. And then this can be actually folded when we put it on the grill like that. And then we flip it. So it'll give you the appearance of a taller fish. You're actually using the tail. So 
And there's our four fillets. You want the grill at like 500, really, at least, uh, to grill the fish to make sure it's not going to stick is one of the main things, obviously. Um, so you get your fish nice and dry, season it, uh, then apply your spray or oil. I recommend using a spray and then a nice clean hot grill and leave it on there for a good, you know, several minutes so that it gets the nice marks and also doesn't stick. All right, so we're seasoning our grouper now. Now we've got some kosher salt, which we're gonna sprinkle over top. A little pepper, and we'll skip the pepper for Carol. I chose Old Bay because it does have a little bit of spiciness to it, which will lend itself well to the mango salsa. In the pasta to uh, properly season the water to keep your noodles from sticking together. You want to season the wa water with some salt. And a little oil breaks up the bubbles. Okay. Up in the, the box. All right. Nice clean hot grill. We want to keep our pieces nice and fat and tall. One final piece there. There we go. Those look beautiful. Well, if we close the lid, It'd probably get up to 500, but we're leaving the lid open. We're just keeping the flames on nice and high. We don't want to bake the fish. We just want to get a nice sear on it. And then we'll, at the end, we'll probably close the lid something. We're just putting the grill marks on it, but I want to make sure it's not going to stick. You want to make sure the grill's nice and hot so the fish will lift off in one piece as opposed to sticking to your grill and ruining a piece of fish. So now we see it starting to turn a little white around the edges. We know it's not sticking. We want to check we're not getting real good grill marks because the grill's actually nice and clean. So we'll leave it there. Let it continue to put some marks on the, on the fish. All right. So now we want to put some butter on our fish to not only season, but also grease the other side of the fish for when we flip it. Oh yeah. So the flame should help put some grill marks on our fish, which it's still taking its time. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll move it back to a new spot on the grill. Still on the same spot of the marks. We're going to go ahead and flip. Again, give it some more butter. And now it's not going to hurt to turn it down a little bit. Just like medium high, not, not so high as it was. And we'll keep an eye on the temperature. We don't want to get past 500 or so. 
See, we're right around 500 degrees. Once it starts getting firm all the way through, we'll know that it's ready. This piece is a little hard to get on the side. Cook. All right, a couple more minutes. You're gonna burn me. Let's see you. Guys, one more turn. All right, so we're gonna throw our pasta in for two minutes. Because it is fresh pasta. Give it a stir. And while that's finishing up, it's a good time to go get our fish off and stick it in the oven for it to rest. It's a real hearty fish. So we'll give it a couple more minutes. All right, so now that our pasta is cooked for two minutes, we're going to dump it. Just a real simple garlic, olive oil, butter, a little bit of heavy cream. Almost like an Alfredo, just minus all the cream. For our pasta. So cut our pasta. It's about three cloves of garlic. A tablespoon of olive oil, three tablespoons of butter. And those look gorgeous. All right. Shut our grill off and warm up. And for our pasta, we'll add some salt. And our heavy cream. How much cream did you put in there, by the way? Um, probably about a third of a cup. I'm not going to need all this pasta. Maybe do one more. Bash of that. Give it a toss. And if it gets too thick, it doesn't hurt to add a drop or two of water. Keep it moist and ready to serve. All right. And we'll give each one a couple spoonful of our mango salsa. This mango is homegrown right outside the door here. All right, here's yours. Very good, thank you. 
Looks so yummy. Anybody need a fork? I was right. This black grouper topped with the homemade mango sauce is amazing.